Hey there everyone, this is Danny now, playing some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouching. Last time we got a bunch of minor moons in New Donk City. This time we getting a bunch of minor moons in New Donk City. I made the same joke twice. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, the letters over there, you can see that they're still in place and you can't capture them. Uh, they stay like that until you actually quit the game, which is kind of interesting work. Uh, you can't just switch kingdoms, you have to quit the game. But various other things only reset when you switch kingdoms. So it's kind of weirdly inconsistent that way. Mm, that bird is annoying. Uh, I want to talk to Pauline first. So basically what's going to happen here is you talk to her, she does a little quiz to help you get to know her, which is pretty cute. First, right? Mm. Mm -hmm. No, it's, it's your treasured possession, but you lost it, right? Mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, you're doing fantastic. Yes. Oh. Obviously, that was the correct answer. <laughs> uh, I think you probably like flower arranging. Oh. Hmm. I don't think there was any of those. I think your hobby is, you know, mu music. You're a musician. You like peppy music. Some of these questions are weird. Uh, seaside? Basically, you just have to keep going until you manage to get enough questions right in order. By trial and error, pretty much. Uh, you're bad at fixing machines, yes. which is why you made me do it. Oh. Uh, uh, you're gonna eat... Mushrooms, yes. that's the only one that's the food. Oh. Uh, -huh. <laughs> uh, you would draw... Flowers? Oh. Okay, it was cake. Yeah, I can't remember these answers. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, raccoon suit. Captured by ape. Yes. Oh, oh. Hmm? this is so cute. Uh, you practice singing because you are a musician. Oh. Uh, hmm? uh, I guess walks? Yeah. All right. Treasure possession. I think it's a hat. Yes. Yeah, someone she's yeah. wearing. She loves her hat. Yeah. Uh, it is her birthday, as she's saying. Uh, now that we've done the quiz and we know it's her birthday, we need to go find her a present. Um, there are a few items around the city, and we can give her any of them, but most of them are not what she wants. There's a hat just here. Uh, it's the wrong gift because she was already wearing a nice hat. She doesn't need another one. Uh, see if we can pick it up. I'm in a little trouble. Okay, yeah. As you can hear, when you pick it up, it makes the item noise from the original Donkey Kong, which is super adorable. Uh, there's also an umbrella around here somewhere. There it is. And we just don't want the umbrella either. Uh, as you can see, Cappy doesn't think it's the right gift. Uh, but yeah, all, all of the... Basically, the items from the original Donkey Kong are all here, and you can get them and give them to Pauline. And they make the appropriate noises. This is really cute. <laughs> uh, what we want to do is go up there, onto that um, scaffold up there. Because that is where the purse is. And as she said a moment ago, she lost her purse a long time ago. So a new one is a very good gift for the mayor. Uh, we can make our way up there, which isn't too tricky. There we go. Uh, I don't think we've done the parking yet. Yeah, so um, we'll be doing that in a second. What we've got to do is just get a scooter onto that little plate next to the guy. Uh, it's pretty easy. Uh, they're both pretty easy. There's not much, like, they can go wrong. So, yeah, we won't have much trouble. Oops. Accidentally ground pounding for fun and profit. Should have just taken the power line up. There was no reason to do it that way. It was much slower. Okay, so yeah, once you climb up here, you can see, surrounded by a little ring of coins, you can see there's a purse just sitting there. This 
is a nice skip for the moon. You're right, Cappy. So we want to grab this purse by bouncing off it and tapping Y at the right time. There we go. And you can carry it around. It basically works the same way as the seeds in other parts of the game. You can't do cap throws or various kinds of moves while you're doing this, uh, but you walk normally even though I'm holding crouch. So it's a bit of a trade-off, really. Um, anyway, we're going to take this down and give it to Mayor Pauline. Here is your present. Yes, it's a purse. Happy birthday, Mayor Pauline! Yeah, because she lost her purse, you get a refresh one, and she's so happy she gives you a power moon! Hooray! <laughs> and yeah, she hangs onto that forever now. She just stands there being happy about her purse for the rest of the game, while saying, oh, we should not to lose this one. So, you know, she, she doesn't lose it because she keeps it right there for the rest of the game, thankfully. <laughs> um, Okay, let me see, where else do we need to go? Oh, this timer challenge, let's give this another look. Okay, so this timer challenge here is very hard because of the way it works. Um, oh dear. We're well, gonna have trouble with that. Um, hmm. I can't even think of a way, easy, like a, a way we can cheese that. Unless maybe we use the scooter? Maybe. Let's try taking the scooter over there and see if it'll help us. Uh, the scooter can jump a little bit, as you can see, so we can get it up there without any trouble. So let's see if we can use this scooter to our advantage to get the power moon here. Yeah, this should work. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, that's the right way to do it. With the scooter. Um, in order to game the system, basically, and cancel out the crouch. But the last part needs to be really precise to work. Oh wow. I'm, I'm really glad that, that that way is gonna work. Because that's, that's a really clever solution. I like it. Uh, I also really like this scooter in general. Um, I mentioned earlier, you can't really feel this because you're not holding the controller, but like the rumble for the way the scooter's motor works feels really, really good for some reason. <laughs> this game's kind of the flagship for the whole HD rumble feature that they were advertising for the Switch. Okay, there. Should have a bit more time to work with now. Oh, hey, there's actually a um, seat up there that I haven't hatched open yet, so we'll do that in a second. Uh, so yeah, we get on these, uh... No! <laughs> so close. Oh gosh. Uh, anyway, you can see that that will work if I can get the, the angles and stuff just right. Uh, it's just, it's just a bit tricky. Um, the bike has trouble turning around, whereas Mario doesn't. Uh, if, we have, if we could have done a cap bounce, then that would have been easy, but obviously we can't do a cap bounce because... This is the timer challenge. <laughs> okay, let's put the hat. Let's put it uh, about there. Ooh. Okay. No. Oh my goodness. Uh, shaking, I believe, accelerates the bike as well. Oh, scooter. It's not a bike. It is a scooter. So you got to watch out for that. Uh, let me just check to make sure that's how it works. I think it is. Okay, it doesn't actually. I'm not sure what happened. Hmm. So I'm just going to wreck all these taxis just by smashing into them with this, this heavy vehicle that we're driving and bouncing around in. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, you can sort of re realign yourself by jumping, uh, which is cool because that's a thing you can do with regular Mario as well, to sort of reposition yourself. Okay, so we want to stop for a second there. Make our way over here. Go to this ledge. No! That was close. That was close. It's that last part. Okay. 
this is this is completely a way of doing this. It's just really hard, uh, like most things in this in this um, challenge. Okay, there we go. Oh no! I think it's the only way we can do it fast enough because we we can't easily go quickly but with precise control normally, so I think doing it on the scooter is probably the only way. Uh, having tried a few times, I'm convinced it's possible, it's just hard. So, um, and that's pretty much par for the course in, in this particular kind of challenge. Basically everything, with few exceptions, is possible, just very hard. That, that's what I wanted to do. Just get up into this one, turn around, get up into this one. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! I knew it was doable, oh my gosh. Huh, okay, that moon is actually, that hasn't been collected. It was showing up as not collected a little while earlier, that was weird. I don't know why it was doing that, because it has been collected. I've got all, all of those planter moons already. Hmm. Uh, since we're having so much fun with this bike, I'm gonna go over here now. This is, no, I can't actually bring the bike in. Uh, this is a bike-based challenge area. No, it isn't. I'm thinking of a different one. Still, we're here now. Let's go ahead and do it. Um, so this is a uh, more of a bullet bill obstacle course, I guess. Uh, once we climb up here, we'll see there's a bunch of bullet bills up there. As you can see, um, uh, there's some purple coins in here too, which is good because we're hoping to find more of those. Uh, once we've done this, I reckon we'll probably do the construction worker area, because I've got the outfit for that. Uh, purple coins are good, bit hard to get sometimes, right about... Yeah, the fact that we're forced to slide down the poles is a little bit of a hassle in this particular area. Uh, again, because we're holding, uh, the button holding um, ZR, it makes it, if you're not pushing up on the stick, you will automatically slide down the pole. And it's really annoying. Uh, so yeah, there's a moon here. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! <laughs> Bullet building. Cute. Uh, the other moon is in that garbage can over there. Well, it's more of a dumpster, really. In that dumpster over there. So what we're gonna do, uh... You're basically supposed to capture a bullet and use it to get over there, but I'm just going to try to go up here and do it that way. See if I can manage it. That's quite far. Oops. Uh, well, that didn't work. I have a feeling that ledge isn't wide enough for us to build up the momentum we need for a long jump. I also have a feeling that you can actually do it with a long jump. It looks a bit too far. Um, a rolling cappy jump, maybe, but again, those are hard to do in this run. Uh, not impossible, but I haven't actually managed to pull one off, so... It's hard. Get on the... Mario! <laughs> Come on, get under the pole! Get under the pole, Mario! You can stand on top of these poles, which is pretty cool, um, in my opinion. Okay, so, yeah. Okay, I can actually do a long jump from here instead of worrying about that higher up ledge. And there's plenty of room here, so if we just make our way over here... There we go! Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! <sighs> awesome. Alright, uh, we're just gonna head out now. So this wasn't the area I thought it was. Um... The one with the with the scooter will be going to shortly, but well, there's actually a few that use the scooter, but one will be going to uh, reasonably soon. Um, but first, we're going to go over uh, towards I believe it's this building. Yeah, you can see this this uh, this uh, new Donka is wearing the same hat we're wearing with the little Mario logo. That's a hint that we have to wear this outfit. Uh, when we actually talk to them, they'll say, yeah, we need to be the building inspector to get in. And now we can head on in. Uh, so here, it's basically a power line based challenge, which is kind of interesting because the power lines normally don't pose any sort of threat or difficulty. Um, basically, you just want to carefully time yourself so you don't bonk, the, bonk into the fuzzies by accident. Uh, it's not very hard. 
This is one of those coin dumpsters. It's not actually a power moon. Uh, there are two moons to get in here. We will be getting both of them. I seem to hit there, but I was just being silly, really. Um, you can see that there's some uh, hat launchers over there. I forget what they do, so I might just uh, try to hit them and see what happens. Oh yeah, they just make a bunch of coins show up. Nothing important. Oh yeah, I remember this. Okay. Um, so basically what you've got here, once you get past these uh, bird fellows, you can go up here. You can see there's clearly some stuff up there. So basically what you have to do is just jump out of the capture at this spot, which you can do with a power line anywhere. Um, they always let you do that. Uh, it's just... It isn't very useful in most circumstances, but here, it's the only way to get up here and get ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba, this power moon off the beaten wire. Okay, so there's one more moon to get here, and it's just basically at the end. Uh, you can go over there and get a bunch of coins. I think I will, because we've been kind of losing a lot of coins to deaths and stuff. Um, it's basically you just have a couple of these bird fellows and a bunch of rings. It is kind of hard to hit the hat launchers because they're at the right height for an, a grounded Mario instead of a jumping Mario. Oh no! <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, we may just go ahead and get the moon instead. Um, no, nah, maybe not. We'll see how we go. That part's easy, uh, you can see. We just did it. No problem at all. Uh, then you got this part with the, I think they're called Burbos, something like that. I keep forgetting the name. There's some more over here. And there's also this sort of hidden power thing here, it's not very well hidden. Which leads you over to this area with the hidden coins. Which also aren't very well hidden, let's, let's be frank. Uh, Okay, what if I just get myself over here and do like a... Yes! I did the trick. So yeah, you can just get a bunch of money that way. Uh, it's not the fastest way to make money, but it's still a pretty decent way to do it. Uh, reasonably quick. Okay, so to get the main moon here, you have to collect the moon shards that are on... Oh my goodness. That was terrible. What am I doing? So you have to get the five moon shards off of here. Basically, all you have to do is just follow the line. It's not hard. Um, even if you, like, take a damage or two, you're, you're fine. It's not, it's not difficult in any, any way, really. Uh, you just have to be careful because you are a little quicker than the fuzzies. Or, well, a lot quicker than the fuzzies, really. So you have to make sure you won't run into them as you're moving. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So that's all we've got to do in this area. Uh, we got both moons, and we also got, uh, some tasty, tasty coins. Uh, shiny yet delicious. I don't know. <laughs> um, okay, let's see here. I'm gonna go over here next. This is another sub-area. This is the one I thought I was going to on the scooter earlier. Basically, there's a scooter here. You hop on the scooter. Uh, there we go. And you start following these yellowy lines here in order to get all the stuff. And you can see there's a T-Rex following you because of course there is. And it's just basically you want to run from the T-Rex and keep dodging when, it, when it's about to bite so that you don't take any hits. Uh, it can, it sort of runs up towards you so you've got to be careful. Uh, it's not too hard. Uh, it's a little, it sometimes takes me a few tries because a couple of the things are easy to miss like that moon I just missed. Uh, but it's not, it's not difficult to make it to the end safely. So I'll just have to do it a couple more times to get everything. Yeah! So that's the easy moon. Uh, the harder moon is the, is of course the other one, which we'll be getting on our next go through, hopefully. And there's some purple coins as well, which we'll also be getting. Um, but yeah, you get the basic idea of that room. You're just outrunning a scooter, outrunning a dinosaur on a motor scooter. I believe there's no way to stun this one. Uh... Cappy's going to notice that there's still a power moon and some coins, as you can see, because we haven't done that yet. Uh, just, yeah, there we go. 
the dinosaur won't show up until you've started traveling, so the fact that we're a little slow getting on the scooter doesn't make doesn't cause any problems, fortunately. Uh, I think that's all the purple coins now. Basically you want to keep dodging from side to side, uh, because the T-Rex starts biting in a certain spot and you can just avoid that by moving to another spot. Uh, although if you hit the crates like that you have a problem. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So as you can see, yeah, both spoons very easy. Um, this is not a hard area by any means. Uh, there are some harder areas that also involve this scooter, which we'll be seeing later on, but that's it for now. Uh, I'm gonna grab the moon again just to heal up. And then head through this pipe. I really enjoy the way if you're going fast enough, the pipe noise is much, much faster when you enter the pipe. Uh, it's just it's just a little cute touch that I enjoy. Um, Okay, how are we doing now? Uh, we already got the moon from you, Pauline. Uh, if you go back into the Nudong City Hall, like the ground floor, you can reactivate the festival. Uh, there aren't any other moons in there, there's just the option to reactivate the festival. Uh, I think it's actually like purple coins we haven't gotten in there, so we might just duck in there. Which is, uh, that's the free life up part in this kingdom, it's pretty easy to get. Um, it's not quite as straightforward as the one in Seaside Kingdom, where it's just right in the middle and there's like a checkpoint right there and it's just super straightforward. But it's pretty easy to get. Uh, compared to the one like, compared to like the one in, one in Tost Arena, which is a big hassle to reach. Uh, okay, those are just yellow coins. I guess they're only purple thing here. Uh, you can hear that they're playing a familiar tune, uh, which is enjoyable. Um, Ba -da 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 -da. Uh, a fun touch here, which I didn't show in the run earlier, as you collect these band members, they actually play only their part in this room, instead of playing the whole song in one go. Um, so as as you revisit this room, I mean, we did we did revisit this room a few times, but you, you can actually hear the song developing, which is kind of a cute detail in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, we're done in there. There wasn't weren't any purple coins anyway. Um, I think if we go back to the germ room, there might be another moon we can do. Uh, but we might need to go talk to someone to activate it. Uh, basically, there one of the people in the germ room is um, one of the hat and seek things, where they have a bonus sitting on their head, and if you talk to them, you can get a moon. Uh, I think you have to talk to this guy in order to. Uh, get that to happen because they're giving you a hint about where the hat and seek moons are. I think maybe you have to do that to make the hat and seek moon show up at all. Maybe, maybe not though. I'm not sure. Uh, so I'm gonna get the bird, but yeah, no, no luck. Uh, but yeah, one of the hat and seek moons is in the germ room, so I'll be going back over there. Um, I don't know if you can tell why I call it the germ room. It should be pretty obvious. The fact is, it's a room full of people who walk into you, and they're all strangers, and you know, you're gonna get germs. <laughs> um, but yeah, someone in this room actually. Oh, oh, maybe not. I remember there being someone in this room. I might be misremembering. It's entirely possible. Or maybe that's on the B side. I don't know why it would be, because the um, hat and seek guy that tells you about the mission is already here, so I don't know. Alright, well, we don't do anything here yet. Uh, let's go find some other moons. I reckon we'll do 10 in this video again. Uh, if you look at uh, how we're doing here, uh, we will. that will get us to... Let me see, two more. That will get us to 56, and then we'll have 9 moons in the last video to get to 65, and then we'll do the B-side. Uh, the B-side is quite large, so it may take up more than one video. I'll see how we go. Um, there's like, I think, 23 moons maybe on the B-side in this kingdom, which is quite a lot by this game's standards. <laughs> Um, typically moon rocks don't have that many in them, um, just because it's just a post-game thing, they didn't want to make, like, low too much of the game in at that point, I guess. Uh, what I'm going to do is just use this platform to help me get over this way. Uh, I'm just going to drop down, basically, because 
we drop down here, and you can see that one of the scooter parks is just here. Uh, you can also get a scooter from below and come up the stairs to do this, but I think this is more cinematic. So you just park there, and you get a move. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So that's pretty easy. Um, the other one is a little trickier because you have to know about this scooter and the fact that you can jump over to those buildings with it. Uh, of course, I do know that fact, so I won't have any trouble, but it is a little obscure to begin with, I suppose, compared to the normal, normal um, route through the... Compared to that one, which is pretty easy and can be done in a couple of different ways without too much trouble. Uh, it's actually a bunch of purple coins over this direction, so I think I might just grab those. I think I tried to get these already and just rolled off the edge instead. There we go. Uh, as you can see, we're making good progress. Um, we have most of the purple coins in this kingdom. Uh, I think we've already done all the sub areas that have purple coins. We just have to grab some that are on the rooftops and stuff. Uh, Da 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 uh, which is good because it's annoying, and I don't really like it. Uh, okay, so that's 10 moons, and that's what we're going to be doing in this video. Uh, pretty good length. So, I'm just going to cash these in, and next time, we will gather the other 9 moons. Um, I know it says 66, and that'll only, that'll only get us up to 55, uh, but we'll do the last, technically, A-side moon on the B-side, so that's to be expected. Just cash these in, here we go. Bamf. No new product? Alright. Uh, we should get some soon. Uh, so we're making good progress through this, this enormous kingdom. You can see there's some purple coins right there that I haven't picked up. They're like right in front of us, very visible. Uh, I'll probably grab those in the next video. I might not. We'll see how we go. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.